I'm Red from Ear Hustle 411, where we keep our ears to the street. Today we're here with Drea. How are you? I am wonderful, happy girl. Yes, I see that. I love it. You are a Chi Town native, and we love that. Um, we know that you are a choreographer. Yes. Now, tell us what you have in the works as far as that's concerned right now. Well, currently I'm working on a new project, Real Life. It is a musical with my partner, Joel P. King, J. Peck, and uh, Girly Girl Productions. We came together because we have the Art Saves Lives initiative. We really believe that our children, we have a generation with no foundation. We need to get the arts back into their lives. It is a creative way for them to deal with life, and that's why it's called Real Life. Life is happening. We have a click it and find out now generation. Unlike us growing up, we had to ask Big Mom and they would tell us to get out the room because grown folks are talking. Now, you type it into Google and you will find out. So we're really getting the kids back into the art. So that's my new baby and also doing Under the Red Carpet, which was going to be a book at one time. I kind of shelved that because I believe I like to go to the people. And I think that it's different when you get to see it and feel it. It's tangible and spending that quality time with me. So it's like a spoken memoir where you get to know about my life and I get to teach you some things, girl. Oh, no. Yes. How do you like that. Now, um, what you're saying that and all, that's kind of a perfect segue into all the violence that's going on in Chicago right now. Um, so that, that definitely sounds like something that we need to have here and you need to share that uh, and maybe develop something with, with, with us here because yeah. right now uh, we're losing them at an extreme rate. Well, so what know, do you think? I feel really strongly about that and this is the thing I have to say about there. There used to be a time when we would look at our grandparents, our fathers, mothers, dads, they fought for civil rights. Mm -hmm. And there was a time that they feared the white man going through a neighborhood. Now our brown babies have to fear the brown man going through the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And we always said, we can't wait till we have a black president. We have a black president and we're still killing each other. Mm -hmm. So it's not the president that needs to change. It's not the government that needs to change. It's us as a people that need to change. Our brown babies should not be as afraid of a black man as they are of somebody in the KKK. Yeah. That's our responsibility. Yes, yes I, I love that. And, and definitely, we need to hear more from you. Uh, you are a voice to be reckoned with, uh, powerful. Um, you deliver that um, so well that we need you to constantly speak about it because speaking about it will bring change and we need that. Um, also, um, I want to know, um, and all our Ear Hustle 41 fans want to know, um, what made you decide to do um, House, uh, Hollywood X? You know what? They actually found me. They found me on Twitter, but I said this is a wonderful platform. Nobody knew who I was. Girl, I said, I'm the fountain wife. I'm like Santa Claus, honey. He dropped off the gifts and didn't nobody ever see it happen. So you know what? It was a perfect platform to introduce myself to the world. The woman behind the R, baby, is the D. Now, we do have one question that is um, kind of tagging at the fans out there. Um, they want to know what, what you think about the comment that Jessica made. Um, as far as black and white girls don't match. Well, honey, I don't think anything about it. I think it allows us to be aware. We live in a world with blinders on. If you think that racism does not exist, you're fooling yourself. So all Jessica did is make you aware that it's still there. Now you're equipped with that information. What do you do with it? And um, this is fantastic. So we thank you so much for your time. We enjoyed you. Um, Ear Hustle 411, where we keep our ears to the streets. Thank you, Drea. Because they know about it.